The objective within this lesson is to divide two and three digit dividends by two digit divisors with single digit quotients. Here we have 256 divided by 47. How can we estimate the quotient? Let's estimate the divisor as 50 and think about multiples of 50. Count by 50. 50, 100, 150, 200, 250. We could use 250. Divided by 50, we get, that's the same as 25 divided by 5, which is 5. Let's use our estimated quotient to be able to solve 256 divided by 47. Let's try 5. 5 times 47 is 235. When we subtract that, we get 21 as our remainder. Let's run our check, which would be 47 times 5. 5 times 7 is 35. 5 regroup with 3. 5 times 4 is 20, plus 3 is 23. And we add in the remainder of 21 to get 256, which was what we were dividing. That was our dividend. So 256 divided by 47 equals 5 with the remainder of 21. Think first how you will estimate. Did you think 40? And most likely, you also thought 240. 240 divided by 40 is the same as 24 divided by 4, which is 6. Let's use that for our solution to solve the problem. Here we go. So we'll place the 6 over in the 1's place. 6 times 39. 6 times 9 is 54. 4 regroup of 5. 6 times 3 is 18 plus 5 is 23. So we have 236 minus 234. So yes, 6 is a good number for our solution. The quotient of 6 is perfect. Our remainder is 2. Let's show you the check as well. We'll take what number? Write 39 and multiply it by what? 6. 6 times 9 is 54. 4, regroup of 5. 6 times 3 is 18, plus 5 is 23. And we add in the remainder of 2, we get 236, which matches the dividend, what we were dividing. Oh, well, it's your turn. Go ahead and solve and do a check as well. Did you estimate the quotient as being, let's see, 140? divided by 70, equaling 2. So try that as part of our solution. 2 times 65 is 130. So our remainder is 12. And you run a check, hopefully. 65 times 2. 2 times 5 is 10. 0, regroup of 1. 2 times 6 is 12. Plus 1 is 13. Plus 12 is 142. So our solution checks. Read the whole equation with me. 142 divided by 65 equals 2 remainder 12. Here's another one for you to try. Use an estimate first. And then solve it. Let's try 560 divided by 70 which is 56 divided by 7, which is 8. Eight times three is 24, four, regroup of two. Eight times seven is 56, plus two is 58. So yes, that's a good estimate there to help with our solution. 73 times eight, Four, regroup of two. Eight times seven is fifty-six, plus two is fifty-eight. And 
then add back in the remainder of 7, so we get to our original dividend, which was 591. Here's another problem. 369 divided by 46. Use our estimate first. Think 350 divided by 50. So that our estimate is 7. Let's see if this will work for our solution. Seven times six is forty-two. Two regroup of four. Seven times four is twenty-eight. Plus four is thirty-two. When I subtract that, I actually get forty-seven, while my divisor is forty-six. So I could actually take out another forty-six from there. So my seven should have been an eight. So let's resolve it again. Three sixty-nine divided by forty-six is eight times. 8 times 6 is 48, 8 regroup of 4, 8 times 4 is 32, plus 4 is 36. And so our remainder is 1. Our check is 46 multiplied by 8. 8 times 6 is 48, 8 regroup of 4, 8 times 4 is 32, plus 4 is 36. Add back in the 1, and I get 369. So our solution is 8 with a remainder of 1. Let's try one last problem, 712 divided by 94. Let's go and estimate first. 94 is close to 90. And we can go 720 divided by 90, which is the same as 72 divided by 9 which equals 8. So let's use that for our solution. 712 divided by 94. 8. 8 times 4 is 32. 2, regroup of 3. 8 times 9 is 72, plus 3 is 75. So that's actually too much. So I'm going to rewind. And instead of 8, we will push a 7 in there. 7 times 4 is 28, 8, regroup of 2. 7 times 9 is 63, plus 2 is 65. I'm going to do my subtraction. 12 minus 8 is 4. 7 becomes a 6. And 0 becomes 10. 10 minus 5 is 5. So the remainder is 54. Let's run a check. That's 94 times 7. 7 times 4 is 28. 8, regroup of 2. 7 times 9 is 63, plus 2 is 65. Add back in the 54. Seven hundred twelve. So 712 divided by 94 is equal to 7 with the remainder of 54.